So a girl like Belle Delphine is fucking perfect. Like, trust me, guys. Like, I think about this shit all the time. No, I did not go to jerk off off screen, guys. I would do that on stream, okay? That's the Asmongold challenge. Of course I'm not gonna do it off stream. All right, here we go. Because I'm not gonna be on the internet forever. Um, and I think there will come a time, I think, where I will just <laughs> probably um, do everything, and then I think I'll leave. Do everything. Belle Delphine had the entire internet wrapped around her finger. Viewer sims, other YouTubers, it didn't even matter if you liked her or not, everyone was always curious as to what she might do next. However, between the months of December 2020 and March 2021, the curiosity seemed to dry up completely. People stopped googling her name, her army of Twitter followers departed in droves, her Patreon supporters dropped by 90%, she's rarely talked about on YouTube unless it's someone investigating what on earth ended up happening to her, and as at the time of posting this video, she hasn't been active on OnlyFans in almost a month, which is yeah, pretty- Yeah, she hasn't made any content. That's why people stopped watching her, was because she stopped doing crazy shit. Insane considering she used to post up to 40 photos per day. On my OnlyFans, I'm posting about 40 pictures a day. Oh, and wow. Like Holy videos crap. Videos as well. I, I try and be as active as I possibly- oh, wow. Bill Delphine's career kind of died. And interestingly, there's so many different reasons for it. However, we have to start simple in order to understand the whole picture. So okay. we'll begin with this. Belle Delphine removed two core components from her content that have been keeping her persona interesting, mystery and intrigue. Okay. Belle Delphine discussed on the H3 podcast that one of her main strategies for standing out as unique was that she'd mix her cutesy image with the strangest, most unrelated topics to build curiosity around her character. Well, it's also like whenever the thing is that like a somebody like Belle Delphine, this is my opinion on this, is that if you go and you say it's like an image or a persona or something like that, there are a lot of people that think that you're like a real cutesy girl and like you have to sell the authentic image because as soon as people think that it's fake, then they start, uh, they, they, they lose interest. Uh, I, I think that's really what it is got the taking cute pictures and stuff, but that's not gonna really do it. So I decided to do weird things in the combination as well as being sexy. And I'll be like cracking an egg in my mouth or yeah, something. Exactly. And then people will share that, be like, this girl's so mm -hmm. weird and quirky or but whatever. This would show in videos such as meet my best friend in which- Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Like that kind of stuff is what, uh, uh, what makes people lose interest is because they like the fantasy of it being like a real cutesy weird girl and the moment that you turn it into it's actually just an act or some sort of uh, uh of like image that's put out there then they lose interest that's just disgusting people are weird well yeah yeah they're weird but i'm just talking about how they're weird Delphine would dress somewhat That's provocatively and play with an octopus throughout the entire video. That's While cute. certainly being a little bit on the weird side, this video worked yeah. exactly as intended because, as you might expect, many other influencers went to the effort of talking about the weirdness on their own channels. Meet yeah. my best friends! Some of you have referred to this video as disturbing. In addition to this, Belle Delphine yes, would become is. known for her infamous Ahigao face. I think the first thing that went big was the Ahigao face. Which also oh, perfected yeah. the mix of mystery. Bro, like, I've seen this shit so many fucking times, man. Oh my god, people still use this. People meme her for the face. ...intrigue and attractiveness while popular. helping her to stand out as unique after many attributed this face specifically to Belle Delphine. Absolutely. All of this seems like common 100%. knowledge now that she's come into podcasts and explained her story, but in the beginning, Belle was completely silent. She withheld as much information as possible, so when you were unavoidably introduced to her content with nothing more than this photo on your Twitter timeline, yeah. intrigue was almost guaranteed. But to keep this intrigue and conversation fresh, Belle Delphine began to escalate escalate her publicity stunts, making them weirder and weirder in order to maintain the public's interest. It's time to get your game of girl bathwater. Belle Delphine's next stunt was so infamous and hilariously successful that talking about it is almost a waste of time. And then it came to me and it was like, ah, oh, bathwater, like bottled bathwater. It was just like, I remember, I, I even remember like where I was, I was like sitting at a pizza shop and I read that for the first time and it just completely fucking blew my mind. It was genius. Yeah. The thing is like people are fucking weird. People are, and, and people bought it. Yeah. They actually bought it. That's the thing that nobody can seem to understand is that there would be one thing if like, oh yeah, this is happening. And it's like, okay. Uh, it's just like some weird girl that's trying to do this. But what's so crazy is that it's actually working. 
It actually works. Yeah, they drank it. Yeah, I remember <laughs> McConnell. I remember, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I remember that very clearly. What do they do with it? Why? Do you really want to know the answer to that question? I mean, really? Yeah, I, I'm not going to. Yeah, no way. And uh, it's just a fart jars too? Absolutely. It's just, it's so ridiculous. I, I, it, I It's just, it's beyond words. July 2019, Belle announced that she'll be selling her bath yep. water for $30 per jar, which hilariously $30. sold out in less than two days. YouTubers from every corner of the website joined in on the madness, each of which selling a little bit of their soul for a slight uptick in- Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? Like, why? What are you doing, man? What the fuck are you doing? views after they inevitably drank the bathwater oh. on camera. On the print media side of things, the stupidity oh. of the campaign prompted news article after news article, God. some of which even going so far as to claim that the bathwater gave an STD to over 50 people. There nice. was that fake article about the herpes or whatever that spread. However, these negative articles were still a massive positive for oh, the yeah. growth of her overall image. Even though they're bad, are still kind of good. It's good press. It's always good press. Yeah, yeah. By the end of the bathwater campaign, Belle Delphine had well truly catapulted herself into the mainstream oh yeah however Every, in the process bro, like everybody fucking knew about this like yeah they 100 percent. like this is like this is what really i think the bathwater is what really like got people excited about belle delphine that in my opinion like before that it was just like this weird like gamer girl thing but like that's whenever things really went over the edge there were obviously going to be setbacks. By this point in time, Belle Delphine had built what many referred to as an army of simps, who had seemingly fallen in love with Belle Delphine and- <laughs> As many refer to as an army of simps. Her anime image. To cater to that. and maintain the interest of this army of simps, she would post a photo to her Instagram stating that if she got 1 million likes on the picture, she would create a P Hub account and begin posting videos to it. The photo smashed the record after totaling well over 2 million likes, and Jesus. as a result, Belle Delphine would fulfill her promise by creating the account. However, it's like, of course it was going to, of course it was going to get that far. Absolutely. Why would it not? However, unexpectedly, the content that she would eventually post to the lewd website ended up being nothing more than a publicity stunt. Her videos would feature extremely dirty usernames such as PewDiePie goes all the way inside Belle Delphine. Yeah. However, upon clicking on the video, you would see nothing more than Belle Delphine simply eating a photo of PewDiePie while remaining fully clothed. Many of her viewers found these videos to be hilarious, even praising her for how intelligent the ideas had been. However, those who expected actual adult content... <laughs> oh my god. Like, and that's a, the thing is, it, oh my god, man, like, it was just, and like, yeah, I saw, like, yeah, playing with, playing with cocks, and it's like her there with some roosters or something like that. Oh my god, he's mad about with his purchase? Yeah, like, that was his whole social security check for that month weren't all that happy. Feeling as though they had been misled by Belle Delphine, many of her followers hatched a plan to mass report Belle Delphine's Smart. Instagram account with the Smart. goal of getting her account taken yep. down, which they would ultimately succeed in achieving. Suddenly there's huge waves of people trying to- So, so they were ma so wait a second. They, they, so they reported her because she didn't make porn for them? That's a lot of old grandpas. This is the kind of same fake money grabbing mechanism as NFTs, people using people, lack of intelligence to get away with money. Well, I mean, like, in a way, yeah. I, I think that, I mean, people, there's always going to be a new way of getting money away from dumb people, right? There's always a way, whether it's Beanie Babies, NFTs, or fucking, uh, you know, like one of those uh, pyramid schemes. There's always a new way to get dumb people to give you their money. Like, report my stuff and then, uh, like, or spam. I just noticed it, it comes in crazy. waves, so I guess, uh, that time, the wave won. After her Instagram account had been banned and it was becoming clear that she wasn't gonna get it back, there was a- That's fuck- like, I think she should have got her Instagram account back. That's so fucked up. Like, actually, like, Belle Delphine did nothing wrong. Like, you just straight up, you did nothing wrong if you're telling people, like, so Insta- it's like Instagram, they should have seen this and they should have unbanned her. Yeah, there's just a bunch of angry fucking simps that are blackmailing a girl into doing porn, and you let them fucking win? What were you thinking?
She probably has risque content. Everybody on Instagram has risque content. Are you? Oh, wow. Look at that. Like, they all do. The clear decline in her motivation and social media posting frequency. She suddenly stopped uploading to Patreon. She took down her merch site, all while her YouTube became completely inactive. Yeah. This short break would last for approximately three months, at which point many were questioning whether or not she would even return. However, there was still so why. much mystery surrounding her persona. She had to return, right? Well, yes, yeah, she would. But what came as a surprise to many was the method by which she would return, simultaneously shocking the internet and creating more hype this. around her name than ever before. On yeah. the 8th of October 2019, oh, Belle yes. Delphine would make a post to her Twitter page stating, I got arrested, LOL, alongside a Metropolitan Police mugshot. Following this, there would be a tweet clarifying the mugshot which stated, I swear to God this girl came to my party and stole my hamster. I have no idea why or who TF does that. I spray painted the F out of her car and got arrested. At least I got my hamster back, accompanied by four photos of the apparent stunt. Unsup And you know what every single one of the people that are watching your stream is thinking? Watching this? You know what they're all thinking? I can fix her. I can fix her. It's okay. It's okay. I I I I can fix her. That's fine. Yep, definitely. She just needs me in her life and it's going to be okay. Hopefully if I buy another one of her bath waters it'll happen. Surprisingly, Twitter and YouTube completely gobbled this. Yeah, bro, this is needy streamer overload, except for it's the, uh, it's the real life edition. Story up, with the main point of discussion being whether or not the whole thing was fake. However, they didn't get the answer immediately, as after making this Twitter post about being arrested, Belle Delphine would completely disappear for a period of eight whole- Well, couldn't you just check the, uh, public records, public arrest records? I mean, you can, uh, is this like in the UK or some fucking bullshit? So like, maybe it's different, but like here, a lot of that shit's public. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, you should have been able to find that. You're not in the UK. That's good. It shouldn't be public here either. I agree. Good, good, good job guys months. The advantage that Belle Delphine had throughout this break was that there were still so many unanswered questions. She hadn't clarified if the arrest was real or fake. She'd barely shared anything about her personal life. Plus, she was yep. yet to post any actual nudity or adult content exactly. for her army of simps. The fact that she withheld these elements created anticipation for her return. People wanted to know where she was. The story of Belle Delphine felt like did. it was yet to come to an end. Videos investigating her disappearance during her hiatus, such as this mega viral hit by Jabroni, would gain up Upwards of 8 million views That's in the space a lot of, of fucking less than people. a month, That's a lot showing of that sense. people were still well and truly invested in the Belle Delphine saga. Unsurprisingly, after her eight month extended break had come to an end, Belle Delphine's return was legendary. Her video, simply titled I'm Back, gained 20 million views within only a week, and Jesus it was almost Christ. as if she had never left in the first place. However, Jesus. upon her return, Belle Delphine began to make some of the many mistakes which would ultimately result in the decline of her career. Between the months of October 2020 Jesus. and December 2020, 20, approximately four months after returning from her hiatus, she began to appear on podcast after podcast revealing everything there was to know about Belle Delphine. Well, exactly. You never, you, you never reveal. It's like, you know what a really good example of this is? Another parallel of this is? Athene. Because at the beginning, it was a joke and it's like, whatever. But like, Athene would go and he would actually be like, yeah, we just, yeah, you never break character, never break character for any reason. And that is the main way to have like a crazy internet personality like this and to have it have longevity. It's kind of like, so you, you think about different people who never like Dr. Disrespect never breaks character. Like, it doesn't matter where he's at. If he's at a, a game, uh, you know, for sports, he's got his fucking headphones on and his wig on right there. He's on there all the time. Never breaks character. Jake Paul, probably not a character in the first place. But Jake Paul never breaks character. Keemstar never fucking breaks character. Never happens. There's never like a time where he says, oh, actually, guys, man, I think I might have taken it too far this time. That never happens. He always goes in. If there's ever anything like that, he always doubles down. You never, ever, ever break character. And that is the secret. And if you do that, then people realize it's fake. And if they realize it's fake, they're going to stop watching.
Belle Delphine to the show! Yay! Welcome. Prior to wow. this, Belle Delphine had been excellent at keeping her life ambiguous and mysterious, That's only smart. ever revealing bite-sized pieces of information regarding her actions, which ensured that the audience was always paying attention, as if they were to stop following for even a second, they might miss some vital update on what she was doing. I yep. heard you, uh, I heard you don't really do podcasts or in interviews. Yeah, well, I've been trying to go through them recently because I, I didn't, I was cold turkey. I didn't do any anything yeah. until recently. Belle Delphine saw massive short-term exposure for these podcast appearances. However, in oh, the process, 100%. she would almost completely eradicate all of the mystery, which had been guaranteeing exactly. a constant level of intrigue. Belle Delphine revealed that most of her publicity stunts were fake. Is it true? <laughs> so, bro, like she, he, he's saying the same shit I'm saying, exactly. Like, you never, you never say the shit's fake. It's like, imagine, like, if a theme was the same as uh, as he was back then like I think he'd still be popular it wouldn't matter like it, it's like you never ever ever fucking say anything was fake it's the same thing that happened like this happened also with fucking uh, uh, YouTube pranks and it's like back in the day, YouTube pranks, everybody thought that shit was real. But then the moment that some of them started becoming, uh, realized that they were fake, now everybody's thinking, oh, hold up, wait a minute. This is actually not real. This is not a real deal. And so I think that's really what the difference is. Yeah, you never, ever, ever say the shit's fake, man. People lose interest immediately. They want the fantasy of it. Or is it fake? <laughs> yeah. It's, um... It was fake. <laughs> so, she talked about her upbringing and reasoning for being this character in the first place. See, I come from a very conservative family, I like I bet super you do. religious. And most notably, Belle Delphine even I revealed that she her, had guys. a boyfriend for the entirety of her social yeah, I, media I can journey. Fix her. Who's the part? Who's the guy? It's my boyfriend. How long? Oh, that's what killed it. Yeah, that's what killed. That's that was it. Look at Je look at look at bro. Look at Logan, bro. That's it, cause he knew, he just knew what happened. He says, "I just ended this woman's whole career." He said, "I just I just ended this woman's whole career." Like that's it. Like, oh my God, he's disappointed. But like, no, that's what it is. His career died. Look at his face, bro. Look at his fucking face. It's over right there. You can't say you have a boyfriend. Like, what is wrong with you, girl? Like, oh my God. That's like, that's rule number zero. If rule number one is saying things aren't fake, rule number zero is say you don't have a boyfriend. That's the one that's assumed. Like, cause nobody hears the thing, right? Is like, I mean, and girls on stream do this too. You see this. And it's like a lot of girls hide the fact that they're in a relationship. Why would they do that? Come on. It's fucking obvious. And so again, I don't care that they're doing this. It's the same thing before. It's like, I, I think that's great because as I said, a fool and his money are soon parted. And to be honest, they're lucky together. They're lucky to be together in the first place. That's all there is. If you're stupid enough to donate this money, I'm sorry, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. I think it's funny. Uh, that's it. And uh, a lot of Instagram models never post pictures with their boyfriends. Exactly. Why would they want to do that? It's because there's a lot of guys out there. They're selling the girlfriend experience, man. It, and that's what it is. It's like, it's a girl that's like, uh, and this is like, so there's a weird, weird thing here. It's like if a girl is like, in a way, like too hot, like too, like ridiculously like porn star, fucking huge ass titties, fat ass, like super, super fucking hot, thick as shit. And like guys won't go in on that as much as they will go in on a girl that's just really cute because girls like that make them feel insecure. And so a girl like Belle Delphine is fucking perfect. Like, trust me guys, like I think about this shit all the time, all the fucking time. I, I talk about this shit all, all the time. And it's like, how is it, like, how do people's brains work, right? Because it makes them feel insecure. And so, true, yeah. She, and so she's really fucking hot, right? But she doesn't have, like, ridiculous proportions. She looks like, you know, the cute girl that works at GameStop or something like that, right? It's just almost attainable. That's what the difference is. And, and like, bro, like, I'm a Coomer expert, bro. I have had 20 years experience. I've had 20 years experience. That's what it is. I, I, I'm like, I, I, know, I know how this works. What's that relationship been going on for? The whole time I- Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you, woman? Like, are, 
Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Oh my god, Chips Kit, this is just the worst. She's inting. Yeah, this is an own goal. Being Belle Delphine. How, how, no how, way. How, how, how long is that? Three years. But while Belle Delphine Jesus. decided to give up the mystery surrounding her character, what, it was what, still. Bro, 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 bro. Three years. Well, Belle Delphine decided. What? Look at his face, bro. Wait, look at his face. Is that what? What? Hell, what? What the fuck, bro? He knows it's over. Yeah, exactly. Why would she say that? This is my best guess. So there are there are two possibilities, right? Number one, she's just done with doing content and she just wants to be herself. Number two, and this is sometimes something that a content creator does. And they think that, well, I can be my real self and then people will like me for my real self. And they don't. It's kind of like narcissistic in a way, but I think this happens a lot. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they, wrong. Yeah, big wrong. Like, they, they don't like you for you. They like you because they, they think that they can fuck you. That's what it is. And so the moment that that fantasy has gone, so are they. That's just the truth to give up the mystery surrounding her character, there was still one thing keeping her fact. fans invested in the story of Belle Delphine. The fact that she hadn't posted any nudity or adult content, which her army of simps was still waiting to see. However, yep, by late 2020, it seemed as though this was also about to change. Thank On the 27th God. of November 2020, Belle Delphine Hey yo, by the way, is this shit fucking D- uh, is this not DMCA, but is this- is this like against TOS? Is this good? Like, can I watch the rest of this? Like, it's on YouTube, it's fine. All right, it's fine. Okay, all right, cool. Twitter post stating, I can't believe I'm ending 2020 with a bang, indicating that she was going to post an adult video toward the end of Thank the God. year. On the Cold Ones podcast in October 2020, Belle Delphine perfectly explained why posting genuine adult content would be so successful for her. I'm right on the cusp, right? I've never shown real nudity. And then going from that to like full on, I think someone wants and then going from that to like full on I think <laughs> Wait, look at Chad's face <laughs> look at his face <laughs> he's like yeah yeah <laughs> is that right <laughs> is that it he's so focused <laughs> Someone wants to see it. But in a state yeah. of infinite wisdom, Max Mofo seemed far more lucid of the long-term dangers. You can't undo it though, because it's like the the True. machine that you've the machine you've built now is obviously extremely successful and profitable. Never post nudity. Never post nudity. And it's like that in my opinion is the best idea. Because if you never post anything any nudity or anything like that at all. You give people the fantasy and they always wonder. It's like you keep keep them real then, you keep them on the hook as long as you possibly can. And it's like they stay curious, exactly. And there's a lot of girls who have posted, like they've posted content, like lewd content for years and years and years. And they have never posted nudes. I think it is actually a, a better idea. And I know there's some coomers in chat like, Don't tell them that! Don't tell them that! Why are you telling them that? That's just you're ruining it! No, you're ruining it for me! But no, it's true. Like, you never... Yeah, no, stop! It's true, you never fucking do it. Because the fantasy is always going to be better than the reality. A and it just is. That's just the way, that's the way guys' brains work. That's just what it is. And it's like, once you cross that boundary, you don't want to sell it. For and, and it's also like, after you do nudity, here's another thing, is that after you do nudity, everything else also has to be nudity. You see what I'm saying? So like, so like, as soon as you start, uh, you, you start like, yeah, but like, you, it's like, as soon as you do that, now everybody wants to see that all the time. So now it's like, oh, well, now I have a new photo set and it's not nude. Well, I don't want to buy that now because I want to see more, 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 more like porn or something like that. You never do it. Yeah. You never fucking do it. Give it a taste of medicine. Yeah. Look, Twitch and porn should never be associated together. That's what's happening with OnlyFans. I know it's great. Uh, I'm, I, I've like, it's like having DLC. Yeah. I, I, I can't believe it. Yeah, that, that's what it is. It's, it's like DLC. Like, what, 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 what else, what else I have? It is what it is.
less than what you're worth. Like, you don't want to get scammed. Now, this was certainly correct. Belle Delphine had built this perfect structure that basically guaranteed a consistently returning exactly. audience. However, this isn't exactly. to say that Belle's opinion wasn't also correct. She knew that she was going to make some serious money off the stunt. In the lead up to releasing her first adult scene on the Impulsive podcast, Belle Delphine discussed how much money she was making on her OnlyFans. The main people on OnlyFans are roughly earning the same, I think, from what I know, and at the moment it's like a mil a month. Oh, yeah. However, as the old oh, wait, saying dude, goes, again, at the moment it's like a mil watch, a month. Watch <laughs> Just turns immediately to the camera. <laughs> He's like, hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute, fuck this world, bro. Yeah, the thing is, and she killed it. Well, it, none of that shit's going to last forever, right? Like, that's just the way it is. Especially with, like, girls that, like, look really young like that, because that doesn't last either. Like, there are a bunch of fucking, like, how many of those weirdos? Like, I think the last thing that she did was some, like, thing where she was a schoolgirl. Like, there's a lot of weirdos out there that really get into that kind of stuff, and, you know, you just get older and you don't look the same. So, I think that's another reason, too. It's a sick world we live in. Oh, look, how do I know? How do I know about the video? Because it was fucking everywhere. I didn't watch it. This shit's gross. Fuck no, I didn't watch that. Absolutely not. Uh, yeah, what's this year? A hundred, a mil a month? Yeah, plenty of girls make that much money. Absolutely. Why wouldn't they? A lot of people want to see him naked. I'm cappy so hard. Look, I, I think Belle Delphine is a very, she's a very cute, she's a, not cute, sorry. A, she's a strong, independent woman. And, um... Uh, the fact is, like, yeah, she's obviously an attractive girl, okay? She obviously is an attractive girl. Like, l let's be honest. Like, I think she's really cute, but I'm not going to watch some weird schoolgirl school rape porn. That's fucking weird, man. That's fucking weird. That's, that's weird, man. No, I'm not going to watch that shit. Stop. No shot. Ugh. Play the video. However, as the old saying goes, there's no looking. such thing as free money. And the price paid by Belle Delphine for such an insane level of income was that she had to simultaneously sabotage one of the only things keeping her simp army paying attention, the fact that she hadn't done adult content. The adult videos would go live on her OnlyFans and all seemed well initially. However, two months later, in February 2021, approximately nine months ago... Never mind. Belle would completely disappear from the internet once again. Now, it's possible that Belle simply got the bag and left the internet with her newly found fortune. However, unless Belle Delphine is secretly an extraterrestrial, human beings don't really work this way. Once we find something that works, we won't abandon it until it's no longer working. What's more likely is that she's trying to deliberately build mystery around her disappearance, which is exactly what happened perfectly with her previous break. She's well-, well Exactly, but it's, there's like a diminishing return on that whenever you do this regularly. Uh, yeah, whenever you do that regularly, that's what happens. It's like, it'll happen. Like, you can't play the same trick every single time because eventually people are going to be like, hold up, wait a minute, what do you got behind your back? Like, you doing this on purpose, right? You do it? No, but like, here's the thing, right? It's like, last time I came back to streaming, right? It, is This is what it is. Um, is I came back, I just announced that, that morning that I was going to come back. Like, I literally said, hey guys, I'm going to come back to streaming today. And I just came back that day. Like, I didn't make a big deal out of it. I didn't make a video about it. I didn't do shit. Like, I just said, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go live today. And, and that was it. And, and so anyway, uh, I forget, there's a lot of people that watched that day for sure. Um, but like, what I mean is that, uh, and also like for me, like it, there is like people get tired of seeing the same shit over and over and over. Right. People don't want to like, always take another break, another break, another break. Right. And people lose interest aware of the benefits in disappearing without saying anything. When asked about her previous yeah. eight-month hiatus, she thought taking a long break was going to end her career, but she was surprised to find everyone waiting for her when she got- I thought the same thing. Whenever I first took a break the first time, I was like, man, I think that I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to lose, like, my stream might be dead. Like, I, I, I went in, I remember the first time I did it, and I came back, and I just assumed that, like, nobody would watch my, uh, nobody would watch my stream. But, like, here's the real truth is like look at um let's think of some examples here uh mitch jones took breaks he came back he was just as popular or more popular than ever um internet historian took breaks comes back videos are still top quality people don't give a fuck if you take a break as long as whenever you come back you're making good content like you can I, you could leave for a year and if you come back and you're fucking entertaining it doesn't matter. 
You know what another really good example for this is? A meta example? Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle dropped off the face of the planet for years. He comes back and he is still the GOAT. He's still, because that's all, because he comes back, he's making good content. That's literally it. There's no, nobody gives a shit about, oh, you're gone. They're happy you're back. That's all there is to it. They're incredibly talented. Exactly. Well, it, it's like talent, like, uh, yes, yes, Dave Chappelle obviously is incredibly talented, but a lot of people are incredibly talented. Dave Chappelle is also, he works very hard probably in making what he does work well. You see what I'm saying? Like he, he, he works well and he, he keeps continuing to make better content. Like being talented doesn't carry you all the way. Back. My one year break, for example, uh, it didn't, you know, it was stressful at first because I thought my career was wrecked. But aside from that, I actually had a really good year. Without a doubt, Belle Delphine thinks that this will be the case when she returns from her current break. Her previous hiatus lured her into a false sense of security, telling her that she can take time off and her audience will always be waiting for her when she returns. However, this time around, things will be much different. As mentioned earlier in the video, during her first hiatus, there was still so much mystery, so many unanswered questions surrounding the Belle. Delphine story and therefore her return was anticipated. Was the arrest story fake? How did this character come about? Did she have a boyfriend? How does this persona affect her personal exactly. life? People actually wanted to know more. 8 million people objectively wanted an exact update on what she was up to. However, this time around, all of the questions that kept the story interesting have been answered. She went on numerous podcasts over a two month period, explained her strategy around everything, then yep. posted her highly anticipated adult content and as a result, the story feels concluded. There's nothing else to look well, yeah, that's literally the climax. That that's the, that's literally the climax is the porn, and and and, and then it, you know in the story, and then at the end of it, then there's a conclusion right after that. Do you see what I mean? Like I, I I mean fuck. That's why you never post nudity. If you want fantasy, why do you want to know more? Uh, it it I, I, it it's. It, I I I look. I don't know. Like it's like a psychology to it. It's like you. Like you want to want you want to know more, but you don't actually want to know more. You think you do, but you don't. To and therefore there's no reason to care about what she's up to. Videos investigating what happened to Belle Delphine on her current hiatus have gained less than 10% of the views compared to those posing a similar question on her previous break. No she shit. revealed everything in exchange for a surge in short-term revenue. However, the long-term consequences are already starting to reveal themselves. Listen, Mike, oh, just a sec. Just, whoa, 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 Um, uh, it is like, this kind of stuff is, uh, it's very, very common. Like, you see this shit all the time. Is it like content creators? Uh, no, we, we saw that one. That's why I didn't want to look at it again. Uh, is that like a lot of the, like the, the e-girl, uh, type, uh, like personas, these just don't last for a long time. That's all there is to it. They just don't last forever. And uh, close the tab, watch the ninja one. I might watch the ninja one maybe, but like after maybe one or two more of these, I want to actually uh, get into some game in. And, uh, you know, we're going to do some of that today. And uh, I'm not sure what I want to play really right now. I'll probably do a little bit of goofball shit in Lost Ark. And uh, then after that, we're going to uh, maybe maybe I'll try in a little bit more Fortnite, right? I'll, I want to do that. Uh, I got some uh, some honing stones so I can we can we can do a little bit of uh, of, of leveling here today. Four hour intro. No, it's only halfway over. Um, so anyway, uh, link the video. Yes, of course. This is Sonny's video. Uh, we've watched his videos before multiple times. I, I love these videos. I've said these many times. And uh, that's basically it. I, I think they're fucking great, man. And uh, yeah, there you go. Blue protocol win. Uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I, I think that like usually a lot of these things are short lived in general. I mean, you do have some girls that like, you know, they have a popular career as being, you know, an attractive female on the Internet. And this lasts for 10 years. But that is the exception and not the rule because a lot of them don't want to do that for their whole life. Like I, I know for a fact because I talk to a lot of these girls, right? And um, I, I've seen what they've said about it is like they've had 
like weirdos all the time trying to like get involved with their life weirdos all the time trying to uh insert themselves and like say weird stuff to them it like gives you body image problems it's like there's a lot of negativity that comes with it and it's like obviously you're making a whole lot of fucking money and so that's great but let's not pretend that you can't just like you can't that, that doesn't solve the problem you know what i mean yeah it doesn't solve the problem and uh and so, like, yeah, and I'm like, I'm not trying to talk about like any individual person, right? Is uh, did you play Fortnite yet? Yeah, I did. Uh, I did. And um, so what? Do we gotta do what we what we say? We gotta block. Yo, chill, bitch. I'm about to watch this video. Uh, that's what it is. So made enough money, she doesn't have to come back. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you make a mill a month, a few months, and you're good to go. Uh, especially if you know how to invest the money. And like, obviously, Belle Delphine knows how to invest the money. She grew up with a bunch of fucking rich parents and they told her what to, they'll probably tell her what to do. And, and they're fine with that. So yeah, I mean, she probably grew up upper middle class, upper class girl. And that's all there is to it. If you sell your body in the internet, that should be expected. There's a lot of things that should be expected, but it shouldn't be ex uh, it, it, it expect is Telling somebody to expect something I feel like there's a lot of, uh, I'm not going to get into this too much, right? But like, for example, it really, really sucks whenever you get harassed online and like people like fucking send you hate, they like send you like death threats, etc. And like, you should expect this stuff to happen. But I, I want to be very clear that like expecting something to happen does not mean it's okay that it does happen. You know what I mean? And, and that's what it is. Let, let's say here. And uh, what, what's this here? Ninja is constantly 20 k uh, viewership. Let me look at it and uh, and go from there. Yeah, it, it it sucks whenever that happens. All right, let's watch the ninja one.